in this video, Pom, we are going to be having a look at the mature age players on the cards. So this could be something like using a pick 78 or the preseason draft or the rookie draft. So uh, you've got, are these your top five mature age players available? Yeah, in my opinion, yeah. Okay. Take me through. What have we got? Okay, first one is a guy called Alec Waterman. So you'll recognize the name. It's a West Coast name. And it's also something that's kind of poetic. A guy that was AFL listed, went as a midfielder, and flip reversal, became a small forward in Waffle. Interesting. And has been very, very good. So we know Carlton love taking senior age players and the mature age players from the Waffle who are midfielders and converting them to a small. Yeah. Well, that's been done for it's us. It's been done for us already. Happy okay. days. Happy days. It's already pre-packed. <laughs> but you see, real good groundwork, good goals. He's strong, X-factor. He snagged galore in the Waffle. 2.6 goals 2. per 6 game. 2.6 a game, that's very impressive. 4.9 marks, high tackle, big pressure as well. Like you look at the strengths there, X-factor, pressure, Goals, groundwork, that is a Teague small forward. Mm -hmm. That is what T that's what Teague likes. He mm -hmm. likes the pressure guys. Speed and consistency, a bit of negatives. But I mean, do we need speed in the forward line? We've got it all behind you, haven't you? Yeah. You could argue. Yeah, that's very I mean, true. This guy's just a goal goal sneak galore. Decent numbers as well. So an exciting player and someone that has been around the system, worked hard. And probably deserves a second shot. Okay, I like it. The next guy is no stranger to the football club. He's one of our own. He is one of He's our own. He's one of our own. <laughs> Sammy Fisher, so fresh off the back of winning the BNF in Western Australia. Sandover medal winner. This guy That's massive, by the way. Huge. Just on a side note, that's a massive achievement for him. Went over there and absolutely tore the West Australians apart. Yeah. And would he come back? Clean, good IQ, good foot skills. More importantly as well, he's ready-made, which I think is huge for the football club. Now, he's negatives. He wasn't the most athletic. He isn't the most speedy. But what he brings you is the mid-effort. And you can see 26.5 touches this year, five and a half tackles. He's a beast. I feel like... Well, I mean, I'll let you finish with the other three, but I'm really keen on the story of him coming back to the club. I don't know. I, I'm with you. I think he knows the club. He knows what it's about. Yeah. And I think also you've got to look at these rookie picks. They're going to be playing VFL footy mm -hmm. as well. They're going to play a lot. True. And this guy gets it. Mm -hmm. So I think he'd be a great teacher as well for some of these younger players. Next guy is no stranger to AFL football, Oscar McDonald. So the D's key defender. And already you love it, don't you? I can see. So, key defender, obviously, he suits. We, we don't have a key defender replacement. If you look at it at the moment, we haven't got anyone down there. It's basically Levi. It's Levi, you yeah. Know. And then you're asking someone to play tall. Yep. So, I think Oscar McDonald is young. He's young. Fair. He's played over 80 games. He knows what it's about. You can see here, elite spoils. He's very good at that, getting it to ground. Strength, his age profile suits the club. Points of difference are his negative, and will he get any better? I genuinely think Oscar's at his level. I, I'm, the same. I'm not going to say to you, we'll draft him, and he'll become sauce. <laughs> That's the only thing for me. But, um, but it would be a good stopgap. So, rookie list, a year, stopgap, play VFL football. Fair enough. If we maybe took Tom Highmore, pick 78, who we mentioned in the video, I've gone. Good little stopgap, so you don't have to play Tom due to injury. You can yeah. learn off Oscar and see what it takes. I mean, look, the reality is this. Harrison McCready has been delisted. Oscar McDonald, if, if he had the same spot that Harrison McCready had, I think we could definitely rely on Oscar to come in and do a job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that's fair. And the next guy, so people might be asking in the comments, where's Henry Walsh? Yeah, where, where is, is he? Henry Walsh? Well, he's not here. And the reason he's You haven't put Henry here. Walsh in a draft preview video. Um, the, you're a brave there a, man. There is a reason. So, like, for me, if I look at our list makeup, we've got a baby Ruckman in TDK. There's a yes. lot of development there. You've got Pitnat, who's mid-age. He's in the happy... Most players Start, are coming to you know, You're starting to get into his hot spot, right? Now, people say, oh, what happens if they get injuries? Just think about it logically. You have an 18-year-old Ruckman as your backup. <laughs> yeah. Criminal. Absolutely. Criminal. And you think when he reaches his peak... TDK will be like 33. Yeah. And if you look at Henry play, it's I think people get lost. They look at Sam Walsh and think it's Sam Walsh but two metres. Yeah. And it's the entire opposite. He's just a tap-mupman. And in my opinion, I think Henry Walsh is a throwback 
to the old school Rodman. Like the Robbie Warnock type yeah, that we old tried. School. And I think... So he's got no running ability close to what his brother has. He he's, he's, he's couldn't be any further okay. away from Sam. Okay. Good player, though. Very good. I think if I was a list manager, if I'm Geelong, I look at him. Got you. Suits it. But to me, why would we get him? Yep. Because I, And this is why Corey Gold's here. Okay. 28 years old. He's dominated in the waffle Played in for Collingwood. He knows what AFL is about. He's gone and worked on his craft. He's older. And he's the kind of guy that would do well. He's reliable. And I think we just need someone purely to play VFL football. Mm. Just not put any pressure on TDK or Pettinet. Break in case of emergency. Yeah, but basically, you know, we get an injury. Would you trust Levi Casbolt first, say, 10 games of the year? Yeah. Or would you rather have an actual Ruckman? Yeah, that's true. And I think this kid will do... I think he'll do the job. Um, strong... He, he finds a lot of the ball as well. 19 he's, possessions a game. This is all in the waffle? Yeah. So, wow, yeah, that's he, impressive. And look at his hit outs as well. He's, yep. he's dominant. Yep. Very good. So, t- to me, if I was looking at it, I think the only way this guy plays is if Pitt and I gets injured. Yep. And we maybe bring him in as the backup to TDK to play off the pine and TDK can roam across the forward line yep. in his breaks. But it would be definitely a break in case of emergency. And with a rookie pick, does it matter? Yeah. You're not signing someone in the rookie pick to play elite football exactly so the idea is in the event that you know we get injuries to tdk and pitternet you don't want to have a henry walsh who's 18 years old who clearly won't be ready for afl football next year you want to have someone who let's just use Corey gold as the example here 28 years old you know he reminds me of uh is it cameron wood remember when we used to play him uh, I think, like, if you look at it, like, Phillips would be the great example. Great backup, Ruckman. You want someone who's just going to come in and do a job. Yep, fair enough. And fair I think enough. that's what we need. Okay. And the final guy, and I'm this is growing on me, mm. and it, I was so I'm a against fan. it. I'm a fan. I was so against it. So I've included him purely for you, <laughs> is Jackson Trengrove. Yeah. He's, he's got a good beard. He's got a great beard. It should be in the pros. And he's a body who has played in big games. Anyway, I'm not going to make the case. But, you tell me what's no, happening. No, but I'm with you. I, I think, again, your key positions for me are where you need, particularly down back defensively, you need someone who's going to come in and do the job. Yep. And Jackson Trengrove does the job, doesn't mm-hmm. he? He's mm-hmm. played big games. He's done it time and time again. And he's not going to be relied upon to play every game. But he is literally, Jones goes down, Trengrove goes in. Yep. Wheatering goes down, heaven forbid. Trengrove will service it. Touch wood. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And to me, I'd rather have that than a 19-year-old, 18-year-old kid. Yeah, fair enough. You know this guy's going to handle your Tom Lynch's, your Jackery Wolves. He's going to be able to stand up. Yep. He's not going to get bullied. Yep. Positioning's good. He's clean. He tackles well. He's got a, a massive elite pressure as well for a key defender. He was very highly regarded at Port as well when he was there. And he has that little thing as well. He can... He, he can rook. I know that's one of his negatives here, but he can relief rook work as yep. well. So, again, another string to the bow. And reluctantly, I've left off Mad Jack Door yeah. because of Trangrove. Fair enough. Okay, well, there's your five mature age players. Guys, what about you at home? Have you got your eye on any other mature age players uh, that haven't been mentioned here? Let us know. It's going to be a fascinating discussion and, and you know draft night. And uh, I think... I, I just get the feeling we're at that stage with the list where we're definitely going to be looking to exploit or take advantage of the mature age players that are still around. You know, list cuts have happened, so to speak. Uh, there's some there's some diamonds in the rough for sure. And and as you said, with the Victorian competition being compromised somewhat, guys who have missed out on footy, uh, I think there's going to be some opportunity. So share your thoughts below.